what's up what's up what's up so i'm back again this is my review for southern charms new orleans this is season two episode two and i'm welcome back and this is my review um in this one i might not go scene by scene may i just i may just talk about whatever jumps out to me who knows we just go and do and however i feel i do that's what's just gonna happen all right then let's go so on this episode so okay so from last episode they ended with the big you know what is jeff gonna do when he meets reese so there's a big build up and honestly i watched the episode yesterday and I was just like anticipating this build up and what's gonna happen and all this nothing happened nothing happened nothing nothing happened what was the big build up for whatever but anyways I'm jumping in like that was in the middle so let me start from the top okay so when the when the um the episode started it's sort of nice i liked seeing the scenes where barry and tamika was spending time with their daughter it was really really it was really nice to see because last season remember she was in a all-white school and being the only little black girl there she felt she was feeling some kind of way because there was nobody that looked like her um all the kids were like you know touching her hair and you know looking at her like she's i don't know a china doll or something or somebody somebody strange so um so the parents has take they have taken step to um let her hang her hang around with more kids that her her color and tamika schedule has slowed down and so now she can take time to spend time with her daughter um in the episode they went clothes shopping and Tamika is talking about how much um, our home life has improved between her and her husband because, like I said last week, last season, Barry sat her down and was like, listen, sister, sister girl, you're doing too much. Your job is taking away from the family and your kids need you, okay? But let me, let me, let me throw this in the mix, okay? I'm going to throw this in there. Remember last season, there was this girl called, was it Gina, Gianna, something. She was going to be working. She was a uh, client at Barry's gym and Tamika didn't like her. And in the end of la last season, Tamika, you know how she is, cop in attitude. And she went for this girl's neck. And what that lady told her at the time was, you need to know when, when your marriage is like done. When your husband don't want you no more, bitch. You need a, you need to know that. Remember that? So, so that happened. And then Barry is telling her, like, listen, you're gone too much. Our family suffering. So I beg to wonder, is it really? What was it really in the motivation for you to switch some things up? Because last season she was acting like, the world is on my shoulder. I can. There's nothing I can do. But this lady, I think she put the fear of the Lord in her. That's what I think. And she's like, uh, no, ma'am, you will not move in on my husband. And so she switched some things up. Ain't nothing like some woman sniffing and nipping at the heels of your husband to let you shift okay let you shift some things around but anyways that's just my thought on it tell me what you all think about it okay that's that's just what i think okay she was like i am not losing my husband especially to this girl that's what i think so um the next scene we're we're looking at reagan and her new house and answer me this you know 
in as a child they have this riddle me this riddle me that riddle me this viewers riddle me this why is reagan living in a house with her boyfriend and her sister so you left your husband you move into this new you know home of yours and on top of and on top of that you're divorcing your husband Within six months, you have this new man. And your sister is living there with your new man? And you? I don't know. I don't I don't know. I I is it me? Or is that strange? Or is that just me? Maybe it's just me. Because maybe it's just me. Because I'm thinking like, you just got in this relationship, so you, you're six months in, <sighs> normally when a relationship is new, we are grown folks, so we gonna talk, okay, we grown. You doing all type of things everywhere in all type of diverse places within your residence. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. We're moving it right along. So this new man, his name is Reese. Is he a, is he an upgrade or is he like a downgrade? You let me, you tell me, because Reagan went from this football player, gigantic, tall drink of awesomeness, to this, what did Tamika call him? Oh, this is what Tamika said. She went from a Viking, she went from a Viking to a crawfish. Like, I mean... <laughs> And this guy, he just, he seemed real cool. Like, he, his energy seemed like he real cool. But, this is his resume that he told us so far. He's a horse training, weed smoking, gambling drunk. I'm sorry, he didn't say drunk. He's a recovering party person who just never grew up and always thought, He's living the college life that you just party and drink and get wasted. But he's since said he's he has changed his life. That's a lie. He didn't say that. He has given up the being wasted part. But the heart, horse training, weed smoking, gambling part, he still has. But you know, we ain't, that you know we're splitting hairs. That's some minor things that we just hey moving right along. Um, but one thing that Reagan said for me was, I was like, hmm, I wonder what Jeff is going to say once he watched, once he, you know, at the end of the season and they get to see what everybody else is, you know, like right now, because she said Reese was the love of her life, the great love, the great love of her life. However, he wasn't ready because he was still in that partying mode. He wasn't ready. And so when Jeff came in the picture, she was mourning Reese and because he wasn't ready. And then at some point when she was with Jeff, Jeff and her broke up. Then she she had a she contacted Reese. So Reese was always the fall guy. Reese was always the if I can get with him, I'm going to go over there. He was always a fallback guy. And so, broke up with Jeff. That's before they got married. Called Reese up. Had a great night party and blah, blah, blah. I guess she tried to see if, you know, he would be the marrying type or ready to settle down. He was still in his partying ways. And so, then the next day, she got engaged to Jeff. And they got married. They were together for how many years did she say? Did she say 10 years? 
since I was, when is she, I can't remember. If you remember, put it down below. And then as soon as they, these people aren't even divorced yet, Reese, Reagan, I mean, Reagan and Jeff aren't even divorced. Have they even filed the papers? I mean, the ink isn't even dry. The judge didn't bang the gavel, nothing. But she's out here with Reese. So she broke up with Jeff and within six months, she's with Reese. Tamika since seems to think, and the rumor is, that Reese came back in the picture, Reagan left Jeff for Reese, and there might be some infidelity that happened in the pot. So this is another a story that is being threaded and fed in this whole narrative. We'll see. And what struck me also here is my theory let me tell you what my theory is this is my theory i feel like reagan broke up with her husband she was out here dipping and doing okay she was dipping and doing and hopping and bumping and hip hopping dipping doing and i think she got knocked up i think she dip and did on Reese's doodad too many times or one good old time you know one of them drunken nights when they forgot some protection or something and I think she's pregnant and you know how Reagan stays she's the queen of the prim and proper and everything is great and I have to uphold a particular you know she's that kind of I'm from the upper echelon and she's one of those. So you already know she ain't gonna be out here walking these streets, you know, not ringed up and booed up and pregnant. She ain't having it. She ain't having it. So my thing is, this is my theory. We gonna see at the end of the season what's what happening. I think she got knocked up and she's not gonna walk around here looking like she's dipping and doing and got pregnant. And so she's like, look, look here, look here now, Reese. We just got to, we got to, have to work this out and let's do this relationship so that I look, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, respectable. Who would think in 2019 people are worried about that? Well, whatever. She wants to look respectable. So she needs a man by her side to make her respectable like in her pregnancy but that's just my take on it as it unfolds we shall see but that's what i think so what's the other thing i think to do with that i don't know reese seems like a a good guy he's funny he's laid back he his his mom owns a um horse breeding whatever He's old money. I'm, the, yeah, but you you know it goes. Yeah, he all right though. He all right. He all right. He's funny. He's funny, but compared to Jeff, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, so we have the the whole thing. They're building up to the grand opening of Reagan store. So the whole building up, building up to the opening, blah, blah, blah. So here it comes. Here's the opening. One, okay. The most awkward scene for me was when I, I felt the awkwardness. And I'm like, I'm not even y'all to. When Jeff went to the hotel room and Reagan was getting ready. And he went up there and he gave her a gift. Awkward 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 i was like <laughs> like i want i'm i was looking for a door to get out at my own apartment <laughs> just to like relieve the tension it was so awkward the both of them i i think both of them are delusional and this is why i think so they want to have this 
We are divorced. We are so happy. We are best friends. Best friends. Best friends. Yay. We are so happy. Yay. But you don't, you're not married for that long. You separate for six months. You're now with a new man. And you expect your ex-husband to be and all parties involved to be best friends i'm not saying it's impossible but for six months like your scent has not even left his nostrils i'm just i don't, I don't get it like you, i mean like But I, but even in his confessional, Jeff said it. He was like, he feels like Reagan is sending him mixed signals. And that was, you can see that last week at the pool party in the episode before. When Jeff showed up to that pool party, Reagan was all starry-eyed and looking like she feeling it, feeling him. And, you know, the, the vibe she was giving off was more like, come get me, daddy type of vibes. But... So now they're meeting and Jeff is like, okay, so now I'm not getting anything from her. She's not flirting with him because she was kind of flirting with him at the pool. She's not doing nothing because her man, you know what I mean? Like it was awkward and he and Jeff even said it. I'm getting mixed signals from her. It's weird. It's weird. Like you have your man, you're six months in. And they're talking about, they call each other every day on the phone. They still tell each other that they love, love, love each other. Love you. Lo like, I don't get it. <laughs> Tamika said, she's like, this is some white people thing. Black people don't do all this. This is some white people. She's, I mean, Tamika does the most, but she's funny. You know what I mean? She, but she, and she, she's saying what we all are thinking, like, What? I mean, if you're going to break up, break up. Like, I think you need time to just breathe and sort out your mind and your feelings and all of this other stuff. Like, you're breaking up. This one's over here with a man. And no, you want everybody to be big kumbaya friends when... I don't know. I don't know. I just... I don't know. I, I feel like the, the shoe is going to drop. I, I So anyways, so we finally get to this big party, this grand opening. And Reese and Jeff meet. And we are, everybody's looking at me like, oh my God, oh my God, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? <gasps> Nothing happened. Jeff and Reese went to the corner. He was like, Yo, yo, yo. You know men do, men do. They do. Men talk, but don't talk. But you know, they did talk. And they came to understanding, even in the non-verbals. And then they was good. You know, respect. I respect you. You respect me. We good. But this is the thing. To me, that was not said. But was said, I know. <laughs> I'm silly. But go along with me here. Jeff, to me, I don't think Jeff really view Reese as a threat. Men are weird. When you break up with a guy and he sees you with your new guy, they they, they first of all, he gonna side, he's sizing up that new that new man. Okay? And if that new man ain't taller than him, ain't flossing more than him ain't like look better than him like jeff is looking at this guy and even in his confessional he said he was just like <laughs> he was just like that's who you with <laughs> whatever <laughs> you know what i mean like he's like he, this is this sound arrogant but it just show you how men think he's like yeah he probably was cheering for me when i was you know on that in whatever team he was on the NFL, he was probably cheering for me. 
Then when they cut to Reese, he's over there gushing over Jeff. Oh my God, he was on my favorite team. I could, I could, I love that man. I could blah, blah, blah. He was like gushing. And I'm like, dude, you have a man crush now? Like, what's going on? Like, you want to, who you want, Regan or you want Jeff? Like, what, what you want? What, which one? <laughs> which one you want? And, and Jeff was like, yeah, he's a fan whatever no threat he's a fan i think if reagan went was with somebody that was really a threat like this man showed up like an alpha male and was like listen man i'm the shit <laughs> and probably just as tall as jeff buff like dapper just Maybe somebody like John. Jeff would have, would have, would have, would be flipping his blonde hair. Okay. But Reese was like, he's just like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. So Jeff ain't got no problems. Because he's like... You're not a threat. And I think in the back of his mind, he's thinking, if I wanted her, I can have her. You ain't no threat to me. So, whatever. That's what I think. But let me know what you think. Uh, let's see. What else is of note to talk about? Oh, Tamika and Ke no, Kelsey. Yes. I don't know what the issue is. Tamika don't like this girl. And Tamika was rude. So when Reagan and Reese came, make Reagan introduce Reese to Kelsey first. That was, then Tamika is like, what? I'm the best friend. Why is, why is it that I'm be, she's, Reagan is introducing Reese to Kelsey before me? To me, that is petty. But leave it up to Tamika. She's Miss Petty. So I think from right there, she was holding on to something. And then when all the girls got together and started talking, and as soon as Kelsey opened her mouth, Tamika was right there. Oh, girl, you're doing the most. You're just doing the most. Blah, 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 blah. Mind you, Kelsey's eyes are like this big. I can't even get my eyes as big as hers. What? 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 Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna... It, okay. Barry even said it. Barry said, my wife... Basically, what he said in a nice way was, my wife is a bully. And if she feels that she can pick on you, she's going to pick on you. So, Kelsey clap back let her know i will not stand for your bullshit oh yes but kelsey's like <gasps> and tamika is sitting there looking at her like i don't care yeah i said it and say something i dare you say something and she's like <gasps> Seriously. But as they say in my country, Dopi no ufi frighten. You hear? Dopi no ufi frighten. What that simple mean is people know who they can get away who they can do what to and get away with it. Okay? Yeah. Dopi no ufi frighten. Because if that Tamika girl ran up into some other kind of lady, she would have snatched her little weaves and get her right the quick together. And she would have already done no, don't try me, bitch. Because I ain't the one. If you come for me, I will go for your neck. Okay? 
and your husband cannot save you when I am done. But Kelsey girl, you gonna have to figure it out, honey. And one of these days, you just got to get crazy. Girl, just crazy. And cuss her from one end to the next. Tell her about all her parts. From her hair to her toenails, my dear child. Up and down. And you just look at her and say, bitch, I don't give a damn. Okay? And I don't care if you talk to me neither. Because I don't like you just like oh, you don't like me. And bitch, let's be clear. If you cross me one more time, I'm going to come for you. And I will cut you. Okay? Just go crazy. She'll leave you alone. She'll leave you alone. She will back the hell up off of you. She's all bark. No bite. One good time. One, one good, that's all you need. One good time. And just put her right in our place and let her know. I ain't no bitch. Come again. Anyways. But as I said, duppy, no oof for frighten. But that's all happened. That's all that happened on this week. Nothing too eventful, nothing too spectacular. Hopefully next week will be better. Hope they pick this up. You know what I mean? Like, it's a little slow. It's a little slow. I need them to get the drama going here. Let's, let's go, people. Let's go. Like, I like Southern Charm, Charms New Orleans. I really do like this. So I, I, and I want them to see them pick it up and so that it's not such a drag. But... I'll keep watching. I like it. I, I like them. I like the characters. Um, and we'll see. Hopefully next week, Regan will tell us, I'm pregnant. And we're going to be like, we know. Anyways, y'all. Deuces. I'm out. <laughs>